Come back in with the leg bands. So, excuse me, we've got, this is lefty. Pop on the left leg band, pop on the right leg band, and we're gonna blast off to outer space. Slip it around up in that thigh area. I have white pasty thighs because I work inside and I don't wear little short shorts to the beach. All right, leg band on the left, leg band on the right. Make sure everything is in its place, ready to go. All right, don't forget to clip that like that. Boom, we got the leg bands on. Boom, we got the Katsu Cycle 2.0. Boom, we've got it in, what, pro, low? Battery's running a little low, I need to charge the battery. Anyways, we should be able to make it through here. Pro high. All right, today's leg day. We're gonna start with a little bit of jump rope. A little bit of jump rope. I'm gonna do one cycle of jump rope. So, a little hop, hop, stop, hop, 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 hop. So I like to hop, hop, switch sides. Hop, hop, switch, hop, switch. Because that vertical displacement's great. Forward, back, up. Yeah, a lot of us do it all the time. Then you add it to the sideways motion, okay? Adds a whole nother factor into our equation. And then once we get into rotational movements, that's where your power comes from. I'll show you a couple things today with the mini band. But again, just like your forearms, you wanna get your ankles, your toes, your feet, your calves, your knees, your hips, and everything else warmed up, ready to go. So you can march in place, you can just do heel raises, whatever you want. That was the end of the first cycle. Cycle number two, we are gonna do some squats. So you can do some basic squats. I like to do a little TRX squat because it helps loosen my hips up. I've got tight hips and they're very hard to loosen up. All right, so TRX about mid thigh-ish. I'm gonna start with my hands close to my chest. So if I were to lean back, it'd be about ooh, 45 degrees, maybe about 30, but we're just squatting. So arms right at your chest, thumbs up, and as you squat down, let those arms straighten out. So the point here is to keep your torso fairly upright, keep your heels down, mash your big toe into the ground, toes spread out ever so slightly, and you're just squatting. And as you grease those hip joints up, you can do a little side to side, a little hip roll. We're hitting cycle number three, and we're just squatting. Squat. And as I go down, I can straighten my arms out, and I can control my torso, hip, knee, ankle, all those angles. So as you go down, use your arms to help control your body. And so you're just doing a nice, simple squat. About 15, it's kind of the magic number before I start to lose focus. 15 reps. After that, I start getting ADD. All right, instead of jump rope, instead of deep squats. And again, we want to incorporate everything else. So I'm gonna go back to a rollout. This time, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. So take the T-Rex down to about knee level. We are hitting cycle number four already. Okay, so I told you how to make this harder. I'm gonna slide back further and further away. Okay, so warm up, my feet were directly under the anchor point. Now as I work my way back, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Feet shorter width apart, slide in those knees. Sink out, extend those knees, ah, come back. We're going to 10, two, I'm gonna slide back even more. Three, four, the beauty of these is that you control. So even if you go here, that's fine. You don't have to go that low, that straight. Main thing is don't hurt your back. If you feel pressure build up in your low back, don't go that far. Try to work on your stomach muscles, work on your butt. So as I fall into this plank rollout, 
I'm really trying to squeeze my butt cheeks together, suck my stomach in, uh, and engage my lats. Pull my back in. Uh, so I'm trying to stabilize everything else so that my abs, my anterior, uh, resist back extension. Uh, so my abs and lats are resisting that bend backwards motion. TRX roll out. One of my all time favorites. Okay, what are we doing here? We're on cycle number five. Going back to the legs. Take your TRX. We're gonna go back to about knee level. This time, I'm gonna do a pistol squat. I want you all to see my legs here. TRX pistol squat. TRX knee level. Trick here is that you wanna line up your ankle, your knee, and your hip with the anchor point on the TRX, okay? We're gonna do right leg first. So again, ankle, knee, hip, lined up with that anchor point. I'm gonna start with my hands kinda cocked in here. Again, my arms, I'm using to kinda mitigate that force that goes through my leg. So, right leg down. You're just gonna slide your left leg forward and as you go down, let your arms straighten out. And up, down, and up. Arms straight at the bottom, pull at the top. So three, four, five, six. I'm just using my left leg as kind of like a balance, rudder leg. Right. 10, good. Switching legs, left leg, line it up with the anchor point, ankle, knee, hip. Mash your toes into the ground to really grab that floor with your foot. Helps with your balance. Lower leg stability. Cycle's filling up. Quads are firing up. So notice how I use this floating leg for balance. You know, traditional pistol squat, you wouldn't really even let that leg touch. I'm not really focused on doing a traditional pistol squat. I'm focused on really getting my quads plumped up and juicified so that when I do these squats here in a second, my quads are ready to go. Okay, lost count. That's probably about 10. Okay, we're still on cycle number seven. So we got one more to go. And before any sort of movement, plyos. Plyos are very, very important to really engage that stretch reflex. So if you really want to challenge your muscles, always incorporate three to five reps of some sort of plyo. So for this one, what we're going to do is a drop squat. I'm going to wait for cycle eight to fill up and then I'm going to detach, go into like training mode. Okay. So I'm going to keep track of my watch because for legs, you really don't want any more in like 20 minutes of sustained pressure. When you're cycling, it's kind of letting go, so that's okay. But static, we're in cycle. Number eight, go ahead, disconnect. Now, one thing I noticed, that band, now it's real tight. It's kind of impinging on my skin down there. Wiggle it around, good to go. Okay, told you we are going to do drop squats. Drop squats is a great precursor to landing when you're doing plyos, landing is very hard on the body because a lot of times, you know, someone can jump over a six foot wall with 80 pounds of gear on, but when you come down the other side, you land, you don't know what you're landing on. That's a lot of force going through your legs. So teaching landing mechanics, very important. Muy importante. So drop squat, up on your toes, pull your hips, teeth forward, go up hall, tall, drop into a squat, okay? So I'm doing about five, where I'm up on my toes and I'm punching the ground with the balls of my feet. Up and pop. So I'm just kind of dropping into a squat while I'm bam, throwing my arms back, hitting the ground with my feet, okay? So incorporating that with pulling motion. Drop squat, rows. Keep your body moving. You want to let your legs recover from the heavy plyo primer that you just did. 
So while my legs are recharging, I'm gonna do a nice and easy T-Rex row. If you don't have these, you can do push-ups, you can do a banded pull, you can just do face down, shoulder raises, anything. You can just simply bend over and just pull back, flap your wings, anything for that posterior chain. Okay, so we did one set of drop squats. Now we're gonna do the second set, we're gonna go into a single. Because many times you're not doing bilateral movement, you're always doing some sort of unbalanced unilateral movement. So up on two, down on one. Up on two, down on one. So when you land, don't let your knee collapse in. Try to keep that knee straight. It really helps if you do this in front of a mirror. First couple times, you're throwing your other leg back. 90% of weight on the front leg, back leg, just a runner. Up, bam, up, bam, throw it up, bam, punch that floor. Shut the floor's butt. That's right. Okay, so we did pulling, push pull legs, push pull legs. Just remember that, you'll be fine. Getting into push up mode, I'm gonna start on my knees because I'm really just trying to warm my shoulders up. I haven't done anything for my pushing yet. So I just wanna first start by rocking back and your shoulders are a ball and socket. So you have a lot of different angles of pull on them and you need to find the happy place. Find that motion that's right for you so that when you push forward or push overhead, it doesn't hurt. Not supposed to be painful. Okay. 